My name is Michael Carunzos. From as far back as I can remember, there was one thing I really wanted to be when I grew up, a great father. I wanted to be the dad that never missed his kids' games, always tucked his kids in at night, and above all else, provided his children with everything that they would need to get by in this world. In my third year of college, I had to drop out to support my dad's restaurant business. I bounced around to a few jobs, and that's when I met Tiffany, at a wedding no less. Before long, we had a few kids, and I settled into my job at ICG as a systems analyst. As time went by, my dream of being a great father seemed to slip further and further away. To my regret, I had to spend more time at work and less time with my family. But after 18 years, I finally got the break I needed. I had applied for a position of regional vice president at ICG. Our family would finally be able to breathe, and most importantly, I was going to be able to put my first son through college. My friend Disco Dave told me that he'd seen the paperwork, so all that was left was for me to get that call and act surprised. But that's where God intervened. You see, in these hard times, we'd cut back on so many things. Food, gas, clothes. And unfortunately, one of the other things was God. And on this Christmas Eve, God came looking for me. <laughs> Except I had no idea it was him because it all began with one simple thing. Tiffany, have you seen my cell phone? Uh, did you check your coat? Yeah, that's, I can't find it. Yeah, well, you sit right oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> I have two gifts for you. Shouldn't there be a box or some gift wrapping, something, no? Nope. You ready for the first one? Oh, honey, you know what? I just realized I left my cell phone on my desk at the office. I gotta go back and get it. I gotta go oh, no, 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 no work today. No, no. your relatives are gonna be here in a couple of hours. I mean, you know what? The promotion's coming in on that cell phone. I gotta get it. I will be back in one hour, I promise you. Hey, Jeff. Oh, Dad, can you help me with my homework? Uh, no, no, I gotta get to the office. On Christmas Eve? Yeah, I, I left my cell phone there and the promotion call's coming through on that. Well, I just need help writing a few paragraphs on what it means to be Greek. Oh, jeez, Jeff. Um, no, no, I'll, I'll help you with it when I get home, I, I promise. I just, I gotta get to the office. That's what you always say. Hey, Dad, what you doing? Just finished installing the uh, surveillance cameras. Anything moves around the house, Papu sees it. Dad, this isn't about those religious groups that keep coming to the door, is it? I told them, this is Greek Orthodox house. Stay away from here or you have big troubles, Mr. <laughs> Lance, keep an eye on him. Oh, you're still here, good. Can you drop this transformer off at the church on your way home? No, 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 I don't have time. No, no, I don't no. Have time. Father Tom says you don't need that. Okay, I got time. Just, just give me one sentence, please. Uh, oh, your cousin Telly called? He said that he can make it. Telly? Why did you invite Telly? You said to invite all of your relatives. Uh, you have a cousin named Telly? I got a cousin named Telly. He's a tow truck driver. Why haven't we met him? Lulu's Lucamadis. Lulu's Lucamadis happened 15 years ago. It's time to bury the hatchet. Does he still have that fake Greek accent? Oh my God. No, no, seriously. The guy has lived in America for 40 years and still has a thick Greek accent. All right, guys, the phone call's coming at three. Love all of you. Love you too. I'll be back, bye. Oh, hey, Kozwalski. We're having some of my relatives over tonight for a Christmas party, just in case it gets a little loud. Do me a favor. Make sure no one parks on my lawn like last time. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. That was my yaya. My grandmother. She never got her driver's license. Great. The crazies are having a party tonight. Now we gotta listen to that freaky music they play all night. What is it with these people and their music? I like it.
you've reached Aspasia Caronzo. Sorry, I missed you. Please, your name, phone number, and something that will make me smile. Hi, Mom. It's me. I just want to let you know um, I'm getting a huge promotion today. I mean, well, it's between me and another guy, but uh, Disco Dave told me that, that I got the promotion, so... I just wanted you to know I made it. I knew that would make you smile. I love you, Mom. Hey, Michael, is your cell phone dead? I've been calling you all morning. Disco, I'm here. I'm good. I'm good. I made it. They're calling you in three minutes. Hey, Dad. Check out this snowflake. Lance, it keeps I, moving. I'm in the middle of. Isn't that weird? Yeah, guys, I'm. I'm, I'm Who's there with you? Lance, I'm, I'm waiting for a phone oh, call. Okay. Sorry. Hello, hello. Is this on? Oh, Dad, yes, it's on. Dad, guys, am I hearing I, another hello? voice? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, I can hear, you. hear you fine. Lance, I told you, don't let Papu get anywhere near that Skype. Well, there you I are. Need, I need to figure I'm out finished with my room. However, I have a spot here where you have measured the children and their handprints. Should I paint over it? Yeah, Dad, the broker said that we're gonna be moving, so the cleaner the house is, the better the resale value, so I I guess just paint over Am it. Am I hearing another voice? Is someone there with you? No, no, guys, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Okay, good luck with the promotion. Congrats, Mr. VP. Bye, Dad. Oh, for God's sake. Honey, what? No, no, I, I got the prosphoro bed, it's in the car. Yeah, sweetie, th there are, the call's coming in on this line. No, no, <laughs> no. I, I love you. I love you so. I'm going to kiss your picture after this. I love you, but I got to free this line. Bye, bye, bye. I love you, bye. <laughs> Just... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Finally, the Lord peered over the cusp of heaven and said, I will send my son, and his love will rest gently on all mankind, and through him I will be reconciled with man. On this Christmas Eve, this is the message I want to leave you with. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, for you. Oh, hey, Father. It's, it's Michael Carunzos. Oh, hi. Michael, you caught me testing out my sermon for tonight. <laughs> Let's see. Now. Hold on. I'll be right back. really could have used your help about 20 minutes ago. What do you want me to tell my wife and kids? I wonder why I don't come around that much anymore. Hey, yeah, I just got the group email from Tiffany about being at your house tonight for some big announcement. Oh. I'll try and make it. Okay. So how are you doing? Oh, fine. I'm a little tired, I guess. Oh, this is the Prospero. Tiffany made oh, it. Oh, we just taught them how to make this in our orthodoxy classes. How's she doing in those classes? Well, it's been a year. She's been a great student. Well, anyway, that, that's what you wanted me to bring by. I hope, hope we get to see you tonight. Maybe it's for the best, Michael. 
for the best. Look at our lives. We hardly see you anymore. You're working all the time. Don't you think that has an effect on the kids? And what about you and me? What do we get, 10 minutes at the end of the day to connect? How long before that starts to affect us? How am I gonna explain this to my dad and the kids? There's no way we're gonna be able to pay for college for them now. I just wish this one time that God would have given us a break. It seems like every time we really need him, he hides. He hides? Michael, it's Christmas Eve and we're not even going to church. When was the last time we went to church together as a family? I can't remember the last time we prayed together. You say he hides? Come on, we'll talk about it after the party. What are we supposed to say when everyone asks what the big announcement was? And that was the whole purpose of inviting everyone over, to announce my promotion. <sighs> Look, I told everybody to be here at 5 o'clock and at 6.30. I doubt any of them are going to show up. Oh, great. Greek time. Merry Christmas! Oh, and you made it! Yeah! Oh, Merry Christmas, man. I brought my girlfriend. Her name's Alethea. You're gonna love her. Alethea! Hurry up, Chrisomu! Michael, I think she's the one. Really? Hey, do me a favor. Sure. Uh, don't do anything to upset Papu this Christmas. Who, oh, me? Yeah, you know, like last year you put Tabasco sauce in his apple lemon soup and he went crazy. I promise I'll be a pussycat. Hey! Alethea? It's Althea. Angelo calls me Alethea. He tells everyone I'm Greek. She can count to ten in Greek. I can. <laughs> really? Well, well uh, great. I'm glad you're here. Um, come on in. Ooh, it smells good in here. I'm telling you, she's the one. She gets me. Really? She feels me. She's a therapist. Wow. Wait till you see what I got in store for us tonight. Really? Hi, Papu. Ooh, that is so cute. They call you Poo Poo. Papu, you both have a lot to talk about. She voted for Obama twice. Who did you vote for? Reagan, twice. He watches Fox News all day. Mixa Kasina, Pisti Salithias, Kalo Kwanza. Esifkiakso, Osana. Oh, hello, 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 hello! Tiffany, look at you, so pretty. 15 years I haven't seen you, haven't changed a day. Too so. Hello, Telly. And I see you came all dressed up. I just come from the shop. We're running a little uh, special down there. If you get your car towed during Christmas, you get to drive in my truck, ride on Santa's lap for free. Couple of bumps on the way home, whoop, whoop. Everyone's happy. You know what I mean. Sure. Yeah, come on in. One second. You know, there's a group I run with. They call themselves my parea. They're a little crazy. They drink too much. They swear too much. They play cards at night. But I love them. Well, I just saw them. They don't have a place to go. So oh. I said to them, what the heck? Why don't I invite you to? So I invited them. I hope you don't mind. Uh, of course, of course. Are they here? Oh, they're here, honey. Well, where are they? Hello, though. Hello, though, Christian. That's it. Oh. Uh, here's one. This is your caralambidis. This is your caretes. Hello, though. Hello, though. And this, oh. is, this is your kumaris. The three amigos. We're like a Greek Hallmark card, aren't we? Hello, Torpes, Kati, Kalesi, Deskalaki, Sunina, Etsy. Hello. Oh, hello. you see, you Hi. see that? That's where I get the hello, hello, hello from. All right. And look what they brought you. Some Greek food. We know you don't like to cook the Greek food. So they brought their own food. You're going to love it. All right. Big in a mess. Hello, Tora. So big in a mess. Well, please come there in. There you go. <laughs> there they go. The woman in black. Watch out. Here they come. You look so good. Oh, have you had a little work done? You, you tell me later. You tell me about it later. Hello, hello, hello. The party has begun. 
and you wonder why I haven't talked to that guy in 15 years? That guy is a wacko. Oh no, not this again. Lance, bring my black rock that I chanted in church and some holy water. I guess more. Hi guys, it's Christmas. Let's call it the truth. Huh? I believe in Jesus, you believe in Jesus. Let's break bread together tonight. Come in. We're really not supposed to. We got a lot of houses. Uh, listen, come in out of the cold and I will give you a shot of ouzo. We'll warm you up. And there's no caffeine in it. Come in. Oh man, it's Christmas. Tiffany, Ferry Uzo! This is Joe and Todd. The funny Mazima Sapopse. Hey, did you find some more? Time out, cheers. Boy, you guys, you just don't give up, do you? Ugh, Piastica. Let me get the board on this in a poftus. Hi. I'm not interesting. Dime, oh, papas. Oh, father. Are you Greek? I'm a convert. Bring me one of those boxes. Everybody, before we say the prayer, I want everybody to put their cell phone in here. This is family time. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Fero to piso, valto di kosu. Okay. Valto deftero mesa. Ooh, we got a gangster yaya over there. Na kova ta korta. Father Tom, would you give us the prosefhi, please? All right, you go ahead, Papu. Κύριε, σε ευχαριστούμε για το ωραίο δώρο. Μα τι κάνει αυτή. Ράτα χεράκια, θα κάνει προσευχή. Δεν προσευχόμαστε εμείς, έτσι τρελάθηκες. Ου, I don't know the language, but I can feel it. Ράτα χεράκια, να πει προσευχή. Έλατε, όχι, δεν κάνω τέτοια. Έλα, κάνε τα χέρια να κάνουμε προσευχή, έλα. Όλοι μαζί. Hold hands, everyone. Come on, one time around the block. The pull of prosevki. The boys, the gunaris, the boys, 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 the Mm -hmm. uh -oh. oh, Lord, you heard those beautiful words coming from Poo Poo. Uh oh, Holly. <laughs> How blessed we are to be here today. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. I said, Can I get an amen? To a mean to Can I get another amen? Amen. Thank you, my great sister. Amen. I said, can amen. I get an amen? Amen. I got an amen, amen over here for you. Thank you, my great brothers and sisters. I believe that lives will be changed here tonight. And I thank you, Lord, for gathering this all in this Greek family mm -hmm. that I'm going to be a part of. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Can y'all feel it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel it. Let me tell you something. I feel it.
I think we need a show of hands tonight. Oh. Uh, can I see the hands? They're off. Do oh, I have witnesses at this table? Yes, you do. Get them up, get them up. Yes. Oh, I love Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Yeah. And we give honor and glory to your divine name, Jesus. Yeah. I tell you, I'm tired right now. I felt like a Jane Fonda workout. I'm ready to eat now, y'all. Happy Kwanzaa, Papu. Dad, why are the yayas wearing black? It's Christmas. Yaya, ο γιος ρωτάει γιατί φόρεσε τα μαύρα ρούχα. Γιατί πέθανε ο ξαδελφός μου. Πότε; Τριάντα πέντε χρόνια πριν. Merle Streep, this one, huh? Ο θείος μου έχει πεθάνει εδώ σαράντα τρία χρόνια. Γιατί θεέ μου; Γιατί πήρες το θείο μου; Ψεύτη. Ψεύτικα. I told you, you're not going to fool me. I know all these tricks. I know the tricks. Come on, you three. Stop with this stuff. Come on. You just want a little red scene. I know you. I usually want a scene. I get to stomach him. So, boys, let me ask you the question. Uh, any of you boys play the sports at school? I do competitive diving. Oh, oh, oh. Let me tell you something. The greatest diver of all time was a Greek by the name of Gregory Luganas. You know him as Greg Luganus. Greg Luganus is in Greek. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't think I heard you. He's not Greek. You need to go check your history books. <laughs> he learned to dive off the cliffs of Santorini. Oh, that's beautiful. Way up there. You know, with the donkey and all this, right? Up the cliffs he went with his yaga by his side. Me can't see it again. Me for what the yaga? Ab 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 into the water. By the time he got to the Olympic pool, you know, he looked at that pool and said, "This little pool. This is all I have to do: dive off that board and win the gold medal." Bam! Five times he went in there, won the gold medal. He's a Greek, Michael. Let me tell you. Check the history books. Telly, you are Mr. Greek. I agree. Mr. Greek. The guy makes half this stuff up. It's Christmas. Don't start a fight. Can I just one thing? One thing. Greg Lugan is, is Samoan. He learned to dive in El Cajon, California. And I said it with a smile on my face. So, Michael, let me ask you a question. What's the big announcement that you wanted to make? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that. Michael, stand up so we can all see you. Um. Well. Uh, the reason that we invited you over today was that, uh... You know what, Michael? Why don't you just let me tell them? I've decided to convert. Oh! Ding, 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 ding! The angels smile when they hear that. That was your first gift. Was that what you were going to tell me this morning? Mm-hmm. I don't need that second gift. That was more than enough. Uh, boys, are you excited for your mother? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna join too. Oh, you're not Greek Orthodox. Oh, I didn't know that. Father, they're going to need uh, new baptismal names. Yeah, you get to pick. Telly, maybe you can help us choose some new names. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, what's your name? Jeff. Jeff. Jeffrey. Jeffy. Like the peanut butter? <laughs> no, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Okay, let's go over this one. What's your name? Lance. 
לאנס, לאנס אלאט, אני לא יודע את זה. סאסי, אני אוהב אותך. מה אנחנו נותנים פה? ג'יף, לאנס וטיפני. אתה יודע שאתה נותן גריק חס? אני לא יודע. לא. אני לא יודע. אני לא יודע. אתה לא אוהב את זה, נכון? תקשיב. ג'יף, אנחנו נתחיל איתך. אתה יודע איך אתה הולך לבית הטיילר, ואתה מוצא את הסוט עליך, ואתה מוצא את זה, ואתה אומר, זה קצת קצת, זה קצת קצת קצת, זה קצת קצת קצת, זה קצת 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 קצ All right, now I look at you, you're a young man. What are you, high school? Junior. Junior, yeah. It wasn't that long ago that I was there. I know exactly what you're going through. You walk down the hallway with the backpack on in the chiki 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 man movie. Now we have to give you a name. A name that when the girls hear it, they look at you and they, is he the Greek? I don't know. Is he the Italian? I don't know. Is he the Chinese? I don't know. Suddenly with this, uh, this new name, You're a man of mystery. You're a man of intrigue. Everyone wants to know, who is this man? So what is his name of intrigue that will make everyone wonder what culture he's from? Zorba. 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 Oh, man, my love. I love the way that name is. Zorba, you see, I said that name. The whole table said, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Let me hear you say Zorba. Zorba. Oh, yes. <laughs> Zorba, what do you have to say, Zorba? Um, what about my brother? <laughs> yeah, what about him? Caralombo, Sisa. <laughs> you like that one. Hey, hey, what about her mom? Xanthula. <laughs> oh. I love it. Let's do a little review at the table here. Xanthula, Haralambos. Don't my people have some strange names. So now we are having a Greek Orthodox Christmas. Or as we like to say here, Christmas with the Karunzuses. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I want to propose a toast. I was thinking about what to bring for Christmas. And the one thing I thought that everyone could enjoy is therapy. I mean, there's so much baggage in this family and we got to figure out a way to untangle this whole mess. My Althea just became a registered therapist and she's starting her own practice. And I thought maybe she could give us all a little therapy. Angela, it's a nice thought, but it's just... I think it is a great idea. Maybe tonight after dinner. Tonight? Yeah, why not? Am I the only one that thinks that's a little... <laughs> She'll be in the library and she can meet with each one of us for 15 minutes. And at the end of the night, she can tell us how we can straighten this whole mess out. I always wanted to go to therapy. Stiriamas! Therapy? Xanthula? I'm sitting there trying to figure out how I'm going to tell our kids my dad I didn't get the promotion, and suddenly I'm in a Looney Tunes Christmas. We're going to go to therapy on Christmas Eve? This is Christmas with the Karunzuses? Yeah. And I think it's a great idea. This is going to be fun. Fun? Uh-huh. Yeah, and I want you to see the therapist, too. Not gonna happen. <sighs> you. <laughs> oh, me. And I'm gonna finish dinner, and then I'm off to my therapy appointment. I'm ready for my session. All right, let's get this party started. Let's go. Excuse us, Papu. So how long have you and Angelo been dating? It's been about a year. Really? You gonna get married? He better put a ring on it. <laughs> how long you and Michael been married? 
18 years. Are you guys still solid? Michael and I are made for each other, you know, but when you first get married, you have this mountain of love for each other, but as the years go by, life just chips away at it. Life problems, money problems, health problems. It's not easy to keep that mountain of love. Like tonight, you know, it's Christmas Eve, should be a happy night, right? Yes. But Michael got some bad news at work. So I know that when everybody leaves, we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna go over our finances. And... See, that's the problem. What's the problem? Why are you gonna let the world chip away at you and Michael tonight? Well, how do you avoid it? You and Michael should come first. Well, who can do that, you know? I tell you, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, that's who. On Christmas Eve, Mrs. Claus gets Santa ready. She fattens him up. She get that sleigh good to go. And then Santa gonna do his thing. Now, when Santa come back through that door, you think Mrs. Claus talking about some naughty or nice list for next year? Or some elves that done acted up while he was gone? She make sure them elves is fast asleep in their bed and them fairies then flew back to Never Never Land. She probably got some Marvin, some Luther, or some Teddy playing in the background. And when her man comes through that door, <clears throat> it's on. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, I do, but... <laughs> hey, Michael, uh, I have to step out for a few minutes. Where are you going? I have to go get an ETS Christmas present. Wow. Yeah, I timed it while she's doing her therapy so I can go get it. Oh, well, well hurry back. Okay. <laughs> what was the last thing you said to Michael before you came downstairs? I think I asked him how I looked. I couldn't get my hair quite right, and my dress, I wore it last year, and I didn't know if anyone would notice or if anyone would care. <laughs> there you go again. Chip, chip, chip. What do you mean? Own it, girl. Just own it. My clothes are older than me. But when Angelo picked me up tonight, I looked in the mirror. I took a long look at myself. And I said, ooh, I look fierce tonight. See, I wish I could be more like you. I mean, the confidence. It's like, you know, it's your nails, your hair, the way you carry yourself. You like my hair. I love your hair. Girl, please, this ain't nothing but a wig. Ah! <laughs> it's what's in here that makes it count. Girl, I could fix you up in no time. You can? I sure can. What you gonna say to your man? Mm. It's on. Okay, um. okay. That's the start. We're gonna have to get you some more swag, though. You know, uh, I went to the seminary for two years. Huh. You know what they called me when I was there? Huh. The George Clooney of the seminary school. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> so why did you quit? Well, one day uh, I was in confession with my spiritual father, mm -hmm. and he looked at me. He said, Sally, you know what? I think God gave you a talent to tow cars. Yeah, it was did. like the voice of God had spoken to us. Off I went, yes. like a rocket. <laughs> but before that rocket took off, let me tell you something. Uh, that rocket learned a few things. Uh, One of them was, you can tell just about everything about a person by the way they do their cross. Uh, All right, here. What about me? Okay, I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. Uh, look, 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 Telly. Throw the key away. I don't say nothing. Mister, see? Give it to me. Give it. Mm. Like this? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Work it. Work it. Yeah. Yes. Girl, you look good. I feel good. What you gonna say to your man? Go give it to me. Give it to me. Yo, Mike. Oh. I'm your girl. You my man. 18 years. We going strong. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh. When the relatives go home, 
and the kids go to bed, mm -hmm. you know what time is gonna be? Girl, what time is gonna be? It's gonna be time for a galata booty call. Oh, mm -hmm. I heard that, girl. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to keep it real, you know? Girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look in that mirror, girl, what you see? Oh, I see 115 pounds of sending dynamite. Oh, shuck it, duck it. Yes. What you gonna do with that dynamite? Oh, girl? you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ba bam. Oh, ba bam. Ba bam. Put some booty in it. Put some booty in it. Put some booty in it. I ain't got a whole lot of booty, but you know, I'll put what I got in it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a start. Oh, I'm excited. Παναγία μου, βοήθησε τους αμαρτωλούς. Παναγία μου, βοήθησε τους αμαρτωλούς. God bless America! Remember, next time you get Michael alone, you tell him, it's all. Okay? Okay. I should get back out there. I want to make sure everybody's tried some of my sauerkraut. Yes. Tell you. Why don't you just show us how to do your cross? I would be glad to. I'm gonna ask the three amigos for a little help. Let's show them, ladies. Come over here. Let me get ready. Just, just do your cross, Telly. Excuse me, Dara's genius. I'm working on the Divine Liturgy of San John Chrysostom here. Boy, you're something else. Bam, to the ground we go. This is the most humble way to do your cross. Que ute ena fores. How many times do we do it? Tres fores. This is the most humble way to do your cross. You see that? She threw in a little... There. I like that. From now on, I'm going to add that to it. You're telling me every time you go to church, that's how you do your cross? Well, if you would ever come to church, you would know. Okay, you know what? The next time I see you in church, I'm watching to see if you do it that way. A P.S. By the way, set your clock too. You know, I'm so tired of that one. Oh, Father, I'm so sorry we're late. So far. You know who I'm talking about. They show up late for church. They march down the aisle to the front pews like they have a reservation or something. They're the first ones to get the andidro. They go next door to the coffee social and they grab 24 kurolakia and don't put a dollar in the basket. Yep. My God, man, what are you doing? Feeding your family on the kurolakia? <laughs> I tell it like it is, don't I? Yes. <laughs> well, I hope everyone saved some room. I made my specialty. Sauerkraut. Who's first? <clears throat> don't be shy. Is it loss? Tell her that if she eats this, it'll bring her good luck for the new year. Uh, what she said was, um, she ate so much food that if she eats one more thing, she's she gonna throw up. So you probably go to her. Oh, how about you? Thank you. No. Βλέπεις τι γίνεται όταν παντρευτείς ξένη. You? Oh. She's on a low-carb diet, she says, so don't worry about her either. With her figure, this one. <laughs> I know someone who definitely wants some of this. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is to eat this, she loves very much. Dad, <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that Christmas carol before. Hey, hey, remember what we said about that house? They're a bunch of nut jobs. And? We stay away from nut jobs. Exactly. Oh, will you turn it down? What do you think this is, Astoria? What's Astoria? The Greek Mecca. Wow. Lance, you're now four feet seven inches you grew one inch since second grade do you think you're going to be as tall as me one day when i go to michigan oh hey dad <laughs> i was i was just checking out all the the work you did hmm did i do something wrong 
No, 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 Dad, you did exactly what I told you to do. Don't worry. And I just wanted to see it all one more time. Hey, let's go over there and show you what I got lens for Christmas. What do you think? Oh. Dad, we're gonna have to put a hold on this again. Why? I didn't get that promotion today. What does this mean? It means we can't afford Michigan. I'll help, I'll... Uh... To go to Michigan, it costs $50,000 a year. Isn't there some way you can get assistance or a loan? We can't get any financial assistance because I make too much money. We've already got a, a loan on our home. I've got an equity line loan. We can't get another loan. God will provide. I just want him to be a great dad. That's it. Michael, every dad wants to be a great father. And then you look back and you realize there are things you could have done better. It's okay. I made big mistakes in my life. I should have never asked you to quit college. For uh, what? Yeah. To work at the restaurant? This mistake because we always put work above everything. Now I see you every Sunday and you go off to work and you don't go to church. That was my fault. I set the bad example. I should never have been going to the restaurant every single Sunday. Why? Just to squeeze out an extra dollar? Money is money, Michael. But without God, there is an emptiness. The promotion? There will be many of those. Keep God close and he will get you through every storm. Ah, I forgot. I have a Christmas present for you, too. Oh, you gotta be kidding. That's awesome, Dad. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Michael. Merry Christmas. Come on, Father Tom. Everybody get to turn. She tell me I was perfect. This is really good. Hey, looks like he's doing drugs. Hmm? Your nose, dude. You boys don't do the drugs, do you? That's good. Telly never did the drugs. Yeah, yeah. Tell them why I didn't do the drugs. I'll tell him if he'll do the drugs, I will kill myself. Wow. <laughs> you come home after school, after doing all that junk. You'll see Yaya hanging from the chandelier, dead. Yaya, and he stood not. Yo ya puedo. Ευχαριστώ που κάνεις το crack. Σκοτώνω τον εαυτό μου και τώρα ποιος γελάει funny pants. Να έχεις καλή ζωή σου εύχομαι να μην αισθάνεσαι guilty. P.S. Μην έλθεις στην κυβεία μου. Mr. Drug Dealer. <laughs> so, Father Tom, what made you choose to be a priest? Well, you don't choose to be a priest, it chooses you. Do you still like being a priest? I love being a priest. It's all the other stuff that's killing me. What do you mean? Well, when I went to seminary, being a priest meant officiating the sacraments coming up with a great sermon on Sunday, having wonderful Bible studies, leading your parish, no matter how big or small, to God. If you look at our robes at the bottom, there are these small tassels. Those tassels represent the souls of our parishioners. I'm responsible for those souls. That's what being a priest means to me. It's what I live for. But what has happened is you can't just be a priest anymore. Nowadays, you're the head fundraiser. You're 
the one who has to break up all the fights at the Goya basketball games. You're the janitor. <laughs> You're in charge of the Greek festival. You have to run the parish council meetings, which you dread because you know, everybody's just gonna tell you everything you're doing wrong. And you sit back and you scratch your head and you think, is this what I became a priest for? You don't know what it would mean to me to have just one person come up to me and say, thank you, you made a real difference in my life. Zorba. I'll let you in on a little uh, history lesson here. You know who invented the game of football? A man by the name of Yorgos Halas. Now you know him as George Halas. He was the godfather of football. And he was a Greek yeah. and proud of it. Okay, hold on a second. We have to have a little touch of reality here. George Halas was not Greek. Excuse me, excuse me. Yorgos Halas is not the Greek? What do you think this is? A French name? No, 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 no. First of all, his name wasn't Yorgos. It was George, and he's not Greek. Half the people that you say are Greek, they're not Greek. You make it up, and you put this fake accent on it. Fake accent? Yeah, fake accent. Anybody can do that. What? Listen, I can do this. Um, I know a guy by the name of uh, Yorgos Lucas, he made this little movie called Star Wars. He's so famous, he's a Greek friend of mine. Well, I hate to break this to you, I was at the original screening of Star Wars. Oh, dear Lord. I saw Yorgos Lucas, I looked at him like this and I said, Oreo. And he turned to me and nodded and smiled. No, no, trust me, he was calling security. And I can tell you, just from that look, he learned Greek at the knee of his yaya. Okay, you know what? We're gonna make a little bet. I'm gonna bet you that I know more people who are actually Greek than you do. First one up to five wins, but after that, everyone has to acknowledge that person, that person, as Mr. Greek. No problem, this will be over in two minutes. Don't take a potty break, two minutes is over. Okay, you say someone's name, and the other person has to guess whether they're Greek or not. Spoiler alert, he loses. So are you leaving? Well, I've put in my request. Nobody knows. I'm waiting to hear back from the bishop. Is it just your parish that's like this, or is it all the parish? Bufos, he says, see. Bufos, they all. Yes. George Stanley Hallis, nicknamed Papa Bear, was born into a family of Czech Bohemian immigrants. Oh. He's not Greek. Timber! <laughs> One zero, my man. Whose computer is this? I don't trust this computer. I don't know what's in that computer, this internet. I don't know what's going on there. I Googled it. I don't trust the Google either. <laughs> okay, let's try another one. Okay, are we are we counting Genos? Genos count. What's a Gino? The Genos, the someone who's the Greek in name only. You know, they have the Greek name, they're really not the Greek. How do you tell if someone's Greek or not? You know, I'm, if you're really a Greek, there's certain things you would have done. Like what? Uh, like if you're really a Greek, you probably would have volunteered at a Greek festival. <laughs> or if, you, uh, if you've had your hair set on fire during Holy Week by a candle, <laughs> you're probably a Greek. Yes. That happened to me when I used to wear long. What about that Greek girl on Fox from The Five that Papu has a crush on? Adria Tandaros? She a Gina? Oh, Adria. Trust me. She's a Greek. I don't watch that show. You don't watch The Five? Are you kidding me? I turn on the TV. There's this girl, Andrea. She says, welcome to The Five. Excuse me, excuse me. Mona Alex at the TV and you greet me, Etsy? I don't think so, my friend. So what did you do? I gave her the five right back and turned off the TV. That's how I do it. It is just the name of the show. So what? Change it to the one or the two. Okay, the five. Five, 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 come on. All right, all right, Gino's count. We're counting Gino's, your turn. What is this one? A little something from the side. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, the singer. No, there's no, no way, she's not Greek. 
Kelly Clarkson was born in Fort Worth, Texas. She is the third and youngest child of Janine Ann Taylor and a first grade teacher of Greek descent. I can't believe that. Are you kidding me? Oh no, we're not kidding. Google that, my friends. It's telly time. It's telly time. Gather around, children. You're about to watch a master teach a class in Greekology. Romalista. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who the Greek is? Greek is a wall. Telly. It's you, Telly. It's you, Telly. It's you, Telly. Thank you. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Everyone told me Angela was a player. But I still fell for him. You too good for Angelo. How long have you been dating him? About a year. One year? Too long. Ama θα ειδω τον Άντζελο, θα του πω. Τώρα που μπήκε στο χωρό θα χορέψει. Okay. I don't know what you said. But I'm a roll with it because I like your attitude. Thank you. Here's mine. You ready? Everyone ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Tina Fey. Fey? What? That's not a Greek name. I said, no, that's not a Greek name. May I please? Oh, he sounds confident. Faye, whose real name is Stamatina, was born in Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. Her mother is Zenobia Senakis. Elinida, you know? Oh, I think so. Say hello to my little Greek friend. Three, two. Or as we like to say in the Choreo, Triadio. I can't even speak to the Greek. Oh, siga, dedaki, mo siga. Hold on, I said, hold on. I haven't brought up my A-list. Here he comes. George Michael. The singer? The great singer. 100 million album show. Show a little respect to a fellow Greek. Feedback, feedback, feedback. Uh, no, I think you're hyping it too much, so I'm gonna say that's a no. Really? Could I have the computer, please? Pass it down. Careful, don't want to ruin the moment. George Michael was born Yorgos Kiriakos Panagiotou. Hello, 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 hello. I don't know, is it me? Or does that sound just a little Greek? I don't know, I'm just saying. Hey, here, three, three, my friend. So, is there anything on your mind you'd like to talk about? Nope, we're good. We're having a blast. They think we're Greek. I don't think so. All right, all right, four, four, next one wins. Yeah. Greg Luganis. Oh, I told you before, no Greg Luganis, that's a Greek name. No, he is Samoan and you can start calling me Mr. Greek. Greg Ephthemios Luganis. Oh, excuse me, did I hear the word Ephthemios? That sounds a little Greek to me. Does that sound Greek to you? Hold on, hold on. He's of Samoan descent. Oh, Samoan? Samoan? You can give me some more of that. I told you he was Samoan. But, 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 his teenage parents gave him up for adoption when he was eight years old, and he was raised in California by a Greek-American couple. What difference does that make? Okay, so who wins? I do. I do. No, no, that doesn't uh, I think we have a tie. No, no, no ties. No, 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 no. Ties are for Father Day's gifts, not for this stuff. No, no, no. I play to win. You know, I made that saying up. Play to win. Telly. I love you. Okay, it's a tie. It will have a tiebreaker, and I know just how to break the tie. So we've divided you up into two groups. This is my group, the winners. There's Michael's group, the soon to be losers. I'm off to therapy. You need some help with the songs? I'll help you. I know so many Greek songs. I don't want to brag. I know them all, but therapy calls. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to play a little game tonight. Yeah, We're right. going to play a Greek song, and the first one to guess the answer correctly will receive a point. The first team to five points will win the game. <laughs> so, uh, this is the hot seat, eh? Telly, let me ask you a question. Why you don't have no socks on? You noticed that, didn't you? Can I ask you a question? Yes. You thought it was sexy, didn't you? You know what? I did. You did. I <laughs> did. <laughs> you know, and I spray a little cologne there, too. Those long socks, you're there for half the day taking those damn things off, yes. and they smell. This, oh, honey, oh, honey, they come off so fast, and the next thing you know, what's that sweet fragrance? Oh, come on over here. 
It works, trust me. By the way, they had a lot of garlic in that arni. If, if I get too close, you let me know. I'll... I will. Oh, let me tell you something. It's so hard to sit here and talk. Oh, you see, oh, okay, 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 where were we? I'm we so have 15 minutes. Okay. And I want to help you out. What was your question? Why didn't you talk to Michael for 15 years? <laughs> well. You could write two or three books about this one. The ups, uh, the downs, the twists, the turns. He did this, she did that. N not, excuse me, no I didn't, yes you did. Your head was spilled with all the commotion. Well, we've got 15 minutes. Thessaloniki! <laughs> Εσύ που βγάζεις τα καλύτερα παιδιά Θεσσαλονίκη μου, μεγάλη φτωχομάνα Όπου κι αν πάω, σε έχω πάντα στην καρδιά Oh, well, have you ever been to the Greek festival? Sure. In the Greek festival you had the souvlaki stand, the raffle where they sell the car that who don't know, I never knew anyone who won that stupid thing. But anyway, behind that is the Lulu's Luca Mothers. That's my mother's name of blessed memory. For 24 years, she cooked all the Luca Mothers. One year, though, I show up at the festival, I don't see the sign Lulu's Luca Mothers. Excuse me. I ran over to the chairman. Well, guess who the chairman was? Oh. Mr. Fancy Pants, Mr. Michael. Michael, where's Lulu's Luca Mothers sign? I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. So he goes over and he puts up a sign and writes, Luca Mavis. Excuse me. Excuse me. Luca Mavis. Uh, did the Luca Mavis just fly in by themselves? Michael, you forgot to put Lulu up there. He goes running up there and writes in crayon, Lulu. Well, I counted all the people that had Luca Mavis at night and never saw my mother's name. Do you know how many it was? How many? 18 people. I look at mother's and I, they didn't see my mother's name. Okay, so what happened next? Next? What do you mean next? Telly, you said the twist, the turns, what, what happened? That was the twist and the turn. Were well, you not listening to the story? Pharrell, you mean to tell me you didn't talk to Michael for 15 years because of the Lulu's look at mother's sign? That's right. I tell him, you forget to write her name up there, I forget to talk to you the rest of my life. <laughs> so what made you come tonight? I have a good heart. You know, I'm not like all of the rest of these Greeks who hold grudges forever. I could see you don't hold a grudge. But there is one other small part to the story that I left out. Telly. Hold on. That was just a, that was a little of the garlic going out the other end. That's part of the magic of telly. The good and the bad. The good and the bad, I say, okay? You know, but when the next one comes in, I'm gonna blame it on you. <laughs> So, Michael, how was the work these days? Oh, it's, it's fine. You're still working at ICG? Yeah. Now, what do you do there? Uh, I'm in systems analysis and product development. Huh. She's the what? <laughs> Whatever the heck that is. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you should own that place by now. You work there for so long. Come on, Michael, you're next. Uh-oh. Here she comes to the rescue like the Lord Ranger. Thea, hello, I'm Silver. You know, Michael, all right, Michael. Go do your thing in therapy. So how's your Christmas Eve going? Oh, uh, I don't, I don't know. What's going on? Well, um, I, I really appreciate your offer, and I know you mean well. 
but um, I, don't, I really don't even know you. I never know anyone before I speak to them the first time. I guess that's true. Um, Do you still live in Greece? Greece? They've been vacuum. I lived here in America for 42 years. Then why do you still have an accent? I have an accent. You have the accent, my friend. I get so mad when people make fun of my accent. You know, I've gotten into fist fights over that. Yeah, I, oh, Etsy, Etsy. Mm -hmm. You go to the Greece, let me tell you something. They all talk like us with this accent. Am I right? I, I, I have 57 years and I have an accent. There you go! Uh, oh. I love his accent. Me too. And me too. So, um, I think my time up. Why are you so edgy? It's Christmas. I'm edgy? A little bit. I don't, I don't know. Just... Anyway, thank you. I think my time's up. Your wife knows you well. What do you mean? She said you wouldn't even try. Tiffany said I wouldn't try? I was supposed to get a promotion today, and I didn't get it. I mean, I wish I could smile today, but I, I know the problems tomorrow's gonna bring. I'm just so mad at myself. I keep thinking, Michael, how did you end up like this? Struggling to pay your bills? Trying to keep your nose above the waterline? You can't put your kid through college? What's wrong with you? What kind of a man are you? Hey, you're a good man going through some bad times. You keep your head up, okay? I just keep going back and thinking, how did I mess my life up like this? I don't know. I want to try something with you. I want you to write a letter. A letter to who? Yourself. I want you, as an adult, to write a letter to Michael as a teenager. I want you to give him your thoughts and wisdom about how to handle life up ahead. Okay. I just I pick any any. Any date or something? How about your 13th birthday? I remember that date. Good. I'm gonna go see what's going on out there. <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes to check on you, okay? Okay. So I was wondering if you can help me with my sociology paper. What's the topic of this paper? What it means to be Greek. How long can this paper be? No more than three paragraphs. Three paragraphs? They've written books about Greece. Not just three paragraphs. This uh, tiny country, Greece, it changed the whole world. You say, Tully, I think you're making it up. No, I don't. <laughs> Democracy, the Greeks. Philosophy, guess who? The Greeks. Literature. Guess who? The Greeks. Bankrupted Europe. Guess who? <coughs> the Greeks. Don't pay any attention to them. They're wise guys over here. Science. The Greeks. Mathematics. The yeah. Greeks. And the most important one of all, the English language. That's why it's so important that you go to the Greek school. You do go to Greek school, don't you? We dropped out of Greek school. Oh, oh don't say that. Don't say that. I don't want you to be known as a Greek school dropout. Why? What's wrong with that? You know, I used to teach Greek school. And we had a song for the Greek school dropouts. <laughs> if you hit me in the key of C, I'll sing it for you. Give us a taste, Tully. 
Your story's sad to tell. Couple of Greek boys, not to sequel. Most mixed up. Patriotis on the block. Your future's so unclear now. Your cousins think you're weird now. Can't even get a job in a Greek restaurant. <laughs> Greeky school dropout. No graduation day for you, Greeky school dropout. You're an embarrassment to Yaya and Papu. Well, at least you could have taken time to try and be an older boy. If I was a Jewish grandmother, I'd look at you and just say, Oi. Let's <laughs> first get moving. I think you're the reason Yaya may die. What are you doing? Zembo a pes, ute baba. If you go to our for yo, they'll think you are a fool. Turn in your manga chains and go back to Greek school. <laughs> Hello, Dorothea, my Greek sister, dance with the tear telly! Greek school drama. Oh, I love it, baby! Hanging around the cafe, oh, Greek oh, school Oh, for the time, I love it! Zembor and I count. Anna, Theo! Where they couldn't teach you anything. They didn't want you enjoy them. You were so bad at Greek school, they kicked you out of the choir. Hazo, don't blow it. Don't put my good advice to shame. Hazo, you know it. Even Father Tom says the same. Now I call the shot. Get off of the pot, cause I really got to fly. Panagiamu. Got to be going to Greece on Olympic Airlines. Hit me, boy! Oh, shake it, don't break it, everybody! Greeky school dropout. Go back to Don't Greek think they heard you! Greeky school dropout. What about Jiffy? Where should he go? Go back to Greece. Oh, school. I love it! Greeky school dropout. Go back to Greece. Try the pasticcio and the chicken capama I'm here all week. You know, they called me the Greek Pavarotti when I was a kid. But forget about it. But I don't want to brag. I don't want to brag. <laughs>
you're going to see the other half of your soul. Treasure her. Love her. God gave you this gift. Don't blow it. One last note. At your young age, you never think about losing your mom and your dad. But eventually everyone does. It's one of those painful facts of life. When you lose your mother, you feel like you lost your best friend. The person who understands you the most, loved you the most, cared for you the most. All of that's true. But try and remember, we believe there's a heaven. Someday you're going to see her again. You have my word on it. Well, I'll say bye for now. I'm going to live the last chapters of my life. I've made some mistakes, but don't worry. I'm going to make it right for you. The best is yet to come. Michael. That's it. When did your mom pass away? About five years ago. You know, she, um, she would always say to me that she felt bad about the fact that I had to drop out of college to help them with the restaurant. And she said, I, I just want to live long enough to see you become a success. Uh, but, yeah, God took her before that could happen. Pretty angry with God, aren't you? I think I've been angry with God since she died. And losing that promotion today didn't help, did it? Yeah, I mean... I know my mom is in heaven. And, uh... I think if I had gotten that promotion, somewhere in my mind I felt like her soul could rest. You know, I lost my mom. Really? You never stop thinking about them, do you? She was my, my best friend. I could call her about anything. And she, whatever it was, if it was something good happening or something bad happening, she always knew the right thing to say. You know, that, that that would either, you know, guide me in the right direction or make me laugh or whatever it was, you know, she just... I... I just wish I could be able to the phone and just talk to her. You know, that's, I, just miss, I just miss that. I mean, it's, it's goofy, but I, I actually call her answering machine now and uh, just so I can hear her uh, her voice on it. Does that seem weird? Absolutely not. Everyone grieves differently. You don't want to know what I do <laughs> to remember my mom. <laughs> I know one of these days I'll probably stop doing it, but... When the time is right, you will know. I just feel like for these last five years since she died and I've been trying to get that promotion and putting in so many hours, I just feel like my, you know, my kids and Tiffany, they haven't gotten the best of me. Oh, that can all change. It doesn't take much. You'd be surprised. Thank you. Thank you. Quiero por ahí, haga bros. Oh.
for your machine ponyros. So Poo Poo, what have you been doing since you retired? Hey, want some help with that? Sure, why not? That was a great Christmas gift. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I'd hoped to give it to you in private, but... Work got in the way. Mm -hmm. I know I've got to change. I just want my old Michael back. The one who used to goof around and not take life so seriously. I know. Tiffany, I would do anything for you. I would. You said those same words to me on the night we got married. The title of our first dance. Very White song, I'll do anything for you, you want me to? Oh, my name's 18 years ago. I got a lot on my mind. I still mean it though. I hope so. call the cops on these people. Maybe we should go to bed. Who can sleep with this crazy stuff on? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should call it a night. Girl, you are my desire. You set my world on fire. From the day we said I do, I've been hooked on Δεν νομίζετε πρέπει να δοκιμάσουμε το σάο κρό την άλλη φορά. Ναι, νομίζω. Πρέπει και εμείς να δοκιμάσουμε το σάο κρό. Still love me.
Barry White. <laughs> Your Michael got a little bit of freak in here, huh? No, 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 no. That was just the first song at our wedding. Listen, when you was out there dancing with Michael, did you tell him it's on? I couldn't do it. I mean, he was so sweet and wonderful. I, that was my old Michael. Huh? Now that was not the plan, now was it, boo? Next time you hear Michael alone, you tell him straight up, it's on. Okay. Hmm. Remember Mrs. Claus? Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I can do this. I can explain. So, Alicia, is there any hope for us? There is. You know what I notice? You guys love each other very much, but you don't talk to each other. Do you know what a difference it would make if each of you were to admit a shortcoming and said you were sorry? Anyone want to volunteer? Uh... Uh, I just wanted to say we've had an amazing time tonight, but I feel like we should tell you something. We're actually from the electric company. Electric <laughs> <laughs> company? Yeah. Where are you from? I think you guys saw our uniforms and thought we were someone else. <laughs> yeah, we were just going door to door to make sure everything was okay. There have been some outages in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But we gotta tell you, you guys rock. And we're coming back whether you like it or not next year. Oh, yeah. so you're invited. You're invited. Um, I guess I'll go next. When Michael and I first got married, uh, some people made me feel a little like an outsider. But um, Father Tom, you changed all that. I remember the first time you left me a voicemail and you said that you were excited about me joining the choir. And that was the first time someone made me feel welcome in the church. And that's why I started going to the orthodoxy classes, and that's why I'm converting. So, I just wanted to say thank you for that. Um, you changed my life. I know you probably hear that stuff all the time, but I, I wanted to thank you. Yeah, oh, right. tea for me. So pretty that tea for me, don't she? Father Tom, go. <laughs> Oh. You're next. Wheel of Fortune, go. <laughs> I guess now would be a good time for me to say something. <laughs> um, it, it, being here tonight has been really good for me. You made me laugh and smile and remember what it was like when I first arrived here. I've been thinking that I haven't really made a difference here, but you made me rethink that. I was actually thinking about going to another parish. No, no. don't do that, no. don't do that, don't get crazy. But you all made me realize that this is where I belong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It gets better. Each one gets better than next. Yeah. Who's next? <laughs> oh, oh, that, oh, it's here this way. Okay, hold on a second. All right, well, here it goes, what the heck. Yes, I see you over there. Look, Lithis, well, right here it goes. <laughs> well, the other day, I was cleaning out my garage. What do I find? Lulu's Luca Madis sign. Ooh. Yeah, I know. So, I feel bad for this. All these years, I accused Michael of losing the sign, you know, and uh, in the end, I was wrong. Michael, I hope that uh, you forgive me. Oh, of course I forgive you. And uh, I apologize to you for making fun of your accent. 
<laughs> well, I, I, uh, I accept your apology, and uh, I, in the future, I will try to speak better Greek. <laughs> Forget about it. You, you. All right, go. Who's next? I guess it's my turn. A um, couple things I want to say. First of all, this morning, I was rushing out the door, and my son asked me a question for his paper for school, and the question was, "What does it mean to be Greek?" And um, I really didn't give him an answer, did I? I'd like to take a, another try at it today. I heard Telly telling you before that. Uh, all the wonderful things that Greece has given the world, and they're true. Uh, but there's one thing that uh, he didn't mention that our forefathers have given us, and that is a, a passion for life. You know, it's a funny thing about Greeks. We can't just sing. We got to get on top of a table, and then we sing, <laughs> you know? We can't just dance. We got to start breaking dishes, and then we dance. <laughs> and it's that... It's that passion that carries us through all of our life, but it's not only in the good times it carries us through, it also carries us through the tough times, you know? Those times when um, things aren't uh, going your way. Defeat, rejection, losing, those are, uh, those are momentary occurrences to a Greek, never a, uh, final destination. We always believe that we have a rendezvous with victory. Man, it's in our DNA. We return to our faith, we return to our friends, we return to our family. And uh, collectively, they hoist us up and let us set sail back out onto the sea of our dreams. That's what it means for me to be Greek. There you go, Michael. There's one other thing that I left out. Um, the real reason we invited you all over here tonight was that I was expecting a huge promotion and um, I didn't get it. And I was just trying to get through the night without having to tell any of you about that. So I just thought I'd tell all of you that. Well, we knew it three hours ago. One of the ayahs read it on your cell phone. You should be careful where you leave your cell phone. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Tell them that. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Merry Christmas, everyone. Disco, what are you doing here? Michael, I've been texting you all night. Texting me for what? There was a delay in his flight that he couldn't get to a phone for two hours. They're waiting to talk to you right now. Uh, no kidding, all right. Why don't we go to the other room and talk to him for five minutes? No, no, I'm... This is my family. Mm -hmm. We can talk in front of them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Put it on speakerphone. Okay. Mr. Dallas, I'm here with Michael. Michael, sorry to interrupt there. I'll make this quick. The job of Western Regional President of ICG is yours. It's a 15% increase in your base salary. You'll get use of our vacation condo, access to our board. Uh, it would require you moving full-time to Arizona, but the weather's great here. All you have to do is say yes, and the job is yours. Uh, Mr. Dallas, uh, thank you so much, but there's a couple of deal points that I would have to go over with you. Go ahead. First of all, um, I drop my kids off at school in the morning, and after that, I'm all yours up until 6.30 at night. But at 6.30 at night, I gotta be home with my family having dinner. Done. And uh, if my kids want me to come to their football games or uh, you know, they just need time to talk to dad or have school events or something like that, um, I have to take time off for work. Okay. And the last point is um, I need to be in church on Sundays. <laughs> I, um, I don't want to work on Sundays anymore. I respect that. Is that a yes then? Well, you know, I've, I've got to talk it over with my, my wife and, and my kids first. Uh, Michael, we need an answer tonight. 
will increase your current pay by 25%. Yes, yes. we say yes. Yes, right. Yes. 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 I, I guess, Mr. Dallas, the, the, the answer is... Um, Excuse me, hold on, hold the phone. Could I put my two cents on the table? Who, who is this speaking? This is Aristotele Halalambidis. Who is this? Who are you? I'm, uh, what's the name? The, uh, the negotiator. Sorry, it's a little hard to hear you with that accent. Excuse me, I have an accent? You have an accent, my friend. Go ahead. Could you arrange for a couple of airline tickets next Christmas so that Michael and his family could come back? Consider it done. Are they first class? We'll make sure they're first class tickets. <laughs> Well, I think I can speak at the whole table like I have all night. Deal is done. It's a deal, Mr. Dallas. Thank you, and I appreciate you calling. Great. One other thing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Elena Cisse. What's that? Uh, nothing. No, never mind. Mr. Dallas, thank you so much. You have a Merry Christmas. Welcome aboard. And to all of you there, your mom would be so proud. <laughs> hey, Father, could I uh, borrow the keys to the church for a few minutes? It should still be open. Hey, Mom. It's me. <laughs> Who else would it be, right? <laughs> um, what a great day, Mom. What a great Christmas. I didn't know where to start. Tiffany converted. I got the job promotion. And Telly, <laughs> he actually started talking to me after 15 years. What a day. You know, Mom, um... I've been thinking that you probably have more important things to do than to listen to these messages, so I was thinking that maybe it was time for me to say, to say goodbye and um, let you do all the wonderful things that I, I'm sure that God wants you to do up in heaven. You know, Mom, there was so much that um, I wanted you and I to talk about. Um, I always thought there would be another day. And I regret that. But um, hopefully <laughs> you've been listening to these silly messages of mine. And uh, if you haven't, uh, you and I have got a lot of catching up to do if I get up into heaven. Oh, Mom, it was just such a beautiful day today. You would have loved it. I wish you could have been there. But something tells me that you were. Anyway. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Mom, I love you. I really love you. Bye-bye.
Finally, the Lord said, I will send my son, and his love will rest gently on all mankind. And through him, I will be reconciled with man. On this Christmas Eve, this is the message I want to leave you with. God sent his son, Jesus Christ, for you. Hey guys, come here. It's 20 bucks for each of you. What for? Get me a copy of all the music you were playing tonight. Make sure you put in all that soul stuff too. And I'll give you each another $20, all right? Sure. Don't leave anything out. Coming, honey. Be right there. Hey, what's your guys' names? I'm J Zorba. Karalambos. I like those names. Strong. You Greeks are all right. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. You have no idea. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you guys. Merry Christmas. Thanks for coming. <laughs> this meant so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for being here. You. And you and you. <laughs> What a way to end the night, huh? Yeah, I will see you on Sunday. God bless you, Father. Bye. You are a great cook. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Merry Christmas, yeah. Merry Christmas, yeah. Merry Christmas, yeah. Jeffrey and Michael, what a Christmas, Angela. guys. Group oh, 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 Merry Christmas. And Thank you so too. much. And you. We're the life of the party. So much fun. Oh. I'll see you next time. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Lance. Hey. Uh, you know what that promotion means, don't you? Go blue. <laughs> Papu told me to give it to you. No way. Isn't that cool? That's so awesome. Well, Xanthula, what a night. The singing, the dancing, every so much fun. As they say in Greece, we are now closer than Colin Vrahi. Your fanny in your underwear. It's a good thing, right? That's a great thing. All right, give me a hug for the road. Sure. Oh, so much fun. Oh, hold the hug. Hold the hug. It's cold outside. I love you, <laughs> Tiffany. I love you. Okay. okay. Oh. oh, that was good. Okay. Well, listen. Kalesiotes and Kalachris to you now. Do you have one more hug in there? Forget about it. I love you. Oh, you. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. You tell Mike I say Sorry. goodbye. Goodbye. I will. I tell you. Oh, it's cold out here. Oh, Telly just left. He said goodbye. Oh, are you kidding? No, uh, he's on the phone, so. I think that was the perfect Christmas. And I just wanted to say that when Papu and the kids are asleep, it's on. Um, what? Did I stutter? It's on. Okay, guys, let's get to bed. Come on. What are you doing? Eating dessert. Dessert? No, no, no. It's, it's time to go to bed. Come on. Come on. Now? Forget the dishes. Let's... Olisa! Say la mesa! La te mesa! Come hey, in! Oh, Dad, come on. We'll do it tomorrow. You must come in now! Oh. Get in. What do you got for us, Papu? My surveillance cameras recorded everybody leaving. Oh, Dad. Spying on everyone now? Come on. Caliente de Mayere, sir. Is it really? 
θα έπρεπε να πάρει μία υπηρέτρια να της καθαρίσει το σπίτι λιγάκι. Ναι, το ξέρω. Είδες το αποχορτήριο. Ναι. Ναι, σαν έχει καθαρίσει τον μέρος στην ζωή της. Καλά δες. Did you just speak Greek? Μάλιστα. That was your second gift. I've been taking Greek lessons for a year. What a Christmas. <laughs> Look, Angelo! He's gonna propose! <laughs> 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 Hello, this is Aristotelian. Yeah, I don't do this with my speaker too. Nothing's gonna top that ring, Dad. Ah, he's very funny to see. Oh, <laughs> hey, baby, what's going Sneak. on? No, 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 just finishing up the old Greeky Christmas thing, you know. Working on the Greek accent, the yayas, they, they love the Greek accent, you know. How you doing, what you doing? You know what time it is, girl? That's right, it's teletime. Uh, you have the wrong number. Uh, don't call back here again. Uh, I'll call the police. I knew it! <laughs>